السلام علیکم ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ گریشیس دا موسٹ مرسیفل آئی ایم محمد یاسین دس از ورچول کلاس آف پاکستان انٹرنیشنل سکول تائف دس کلاس از فار دا سٹوڈنٹس آف گریڈ فائیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سٹارٹ چیپٹر نائنٹین اینڈ دس از آور تھرٹی سکس ویڈیو ان دس کلاس After today's lesson, we shall be able to do grammar exercise 36. We shall be able to understand the passage given in chapter 19. We shall be able to understand the meaning and pronunciation of new words. We shall do exercises of chapter 19. Uh, this is chapter 19 of our grammar. This is related to preposition. Let us start reading. Uh, you know that a preposition is used to indicate the relation of a word to other words in a sentence. A preposition is said to govern a noun or a pronoun. Uh, read the following sentences. He is proud of his riches. I am sick of it. The dog is in the house. He slept under the tree. The preposition of in sentence 1. Guans the noun riches. The preposition of sentence 2. Guans the pronoun it. The preposition in in sentence 3. Guans the noun house. And the preposition under in sentence 4. Guans the noun tree. This is the exercise, dear students. In this exercise, we are set to read the following sentences carefully and learn the italicized phrases by heart. Yes, we are set to memorize them. Uh, for example, in sentence number one, the dog barked at me. We, we should try to memorize barked at. With bark, preposition is used at, act upon, afraid of, agree with. What is the preposition used with agree? With, angry with, asked for, agree to. With agree, we can use with, but it gives different meaning. Agree to, it gives other meaning. Ashamed of, attend to, attention to, born in. He was born of rich parents. Dear students, when it is born of, you can see it gives different meaning. Then, Born in, belongs to, blessed him with, boast of, busy with, bathe in, care for, cruel to, clothed in. We have come to our lesson now. This is... Uh, Chapter 19, first of all, we shall have a look of new words. This is adventure. Adventure means an exciting and sometimes dangerous experience. Lame. Lame means a lame animal or person who could not walk properly. His foot is hurt. Foot or leg is hurt. Foot or leg is hurt. Lump is a bit of something that is solid, particular shape. No particular shape, that is something solid. That is called lump. Eager is wanting to do or have something very much. Nasty means not kind, not good. This is language structure. In this uh, lesson, we shall focus so. We shall focus neither 
Dear student, some detail is given here. Notice that neither is usually pronounced neither in England. There is a difference to pronounce it. In England, we produce it neither, neither, either. But in America, it is pronounced as neither, either. In England, in British English, it is neither, just like either. But in America, it is neither like either. This is the top of our chapter 19. This is the first part of the passage. Let us start reading. Perhaps one day in the future, anyone will be able to take a trip to the moon, just like going on a train or bus journey. What an adventure that would be. Let us pretend that you are going to the moon. We have paid our fare and we have our tickets. We have climbed aboard the rocket rather like going aboard a ship. You are lying down and so am I. We have to lie down at first because the rocket will increase speed very quickly. The captain counts six, five, four, three, two, one, lift off. There is a sudden roar when the engines are switched on, then the great rocket begins to rise. Slowly at first, then faster and faster. We are glad that we are lying down because something seems to be holding us. I cannot move and neither can you. This lasts for about 12 minutes. Then we reach our highest speed, which is about 40,000 kilometers per hour. Yes. We are on our way to the moon. Now we can stand up and move about. Eagerly we run to the windows for our first look at space. What a surprise! The sky is not blue now. It is dark. We can see stars all around us. What is that big shining wall in the sky? It is our earth, looking like a very big moon. We look down at the earth where all our friends are living and we feel a little lonely. The moon is also in sight but it is getting bigger all the time. Three days later, we arrive at the moon and sink slowly downwards until our rocket ship is standing on the moon. Part number four is, we are eager to go outside, but first we must put on our special clothes. Then we climb down the ladder and step onto the moon. Our feet sink into the ground a little and we see that we are walking on a kind of powder. The moon is covered with dust. There is no air on the moon, so there is no wind to blow the dust about. There is no noise. We are walking in complete silence. Sounds can only travel through the air. There is no noise because there is no air. We walk along silently. Then I see a lump of rock and I jump over it. And so do you. We find that we have jumped several feet into the air. We have forgotten that we do not weigh much on the moon. Jumping is easy. We walk around the holes in the ground and we walk up some of the hills. But we soon become tired of that. Everywhere looks the same. There are no trees or flowers, grass, birds or animals. The moon is a dead place. We are glad that we shall soon return to our earth. 
Dear students, we have read the lesson. I think you have got some idea about the moon. How is the land over there? What do we feel when we are on the moon? In this exercise, we are said to put a tick by the true sentences and a cross by the untrue ones. The writer says that one day anyone will be able to take a trip to the moon. Yes, it is true. Passengers in a rock ship, rocket ship must lie down until they reach the moon. No, they lie down in the beginning but not until they reach the moon. The engine of rocket never make noise. No, it make a lot of noise. A rocket increase speed very quickly, not very quickly. In the beginning, it uh, uh, the rocket increase speed very quickly. Uh, yes, increase speed very quickly. From a rocket ship, the Earth looks like a moon. Yes, it is look uh, like a moon. When the rocket ship hits the moon, it is traveling 40,000 kilometers. Dear students, 40,000 km is its maximum speed, but when it lands on the moon, it decreases its moon, uh, speed. If it hit the moon with this speed, it will crash. That is wrong statement. The travelers feel sink into the ground because everything on the moon is heavy. Not heavy. They feel sink because there is powder, dust is there. Uh, rocket at first moves slowly, it moves slowly but increases speed quickly. Yes, at first it moves slowly. The writer says that the moon is a dead place because there are no living things, no animal, no bird, no tree, nothing. That is why he is late and so am I. This is the next exercise, dear students. Mm, we shall try to learn how to do this exercise. <clears throat> he is late and so am I. She is early and so am I. They went home and so am I. You can see how it is to do. So am I, so am I, so am I. Uh, if here is written went, you can see. If here is written was, you will write so was I. If here is second form went, you will say so did I. If here is has, you will say so have I, because with I we use have. If here is written will, you will say so will I. I think you have got the idea. If here is written is, you will write so is Uzma. If here is lives, you will write here does Zeb have, have the girls. For example, if we try to do this one, she is ready and so am I. Maruf was ill and so was I. Helen stopped singing and so did Teresa. Why did here? Because second form of the verb is written here. Let us move forward and do the exercise. Dear students, this is exercise 3a. She is ready and so am I. Was ready, was ill, was I. Here is written stood, as I told you before. This stood is second form of the verb. In this case, we shall write here, did I. You are writing, so am I. Helen stopped singing, and so did I. Why did here? Because stopped is second form of the verb. Look here, very interesting, Zeb reads, there is S with the first form, in that case we shall write here, does, will help, will send. Here is written, boys had done it, and so had the girls, was born, was Uzma. 3 is an odd number, and so is 5. Zeb reads nicely and so does Zohra. As we did before, does will be used here. Philip has come and so has Patrick. I will help you and so will Sam. The boys had done it and so had the 
girls yes students this is part number 14 it will be done like this this is exercise 3b and this exercise we are said to read the examples carefully then put the correct verbs in the blank spaces Umar wasn't ready and neither was I. If uh, you look here, you can see in previous exercise it was positive sentence here and we used here and so was I and so was I. But here it is negative that is why we shall use here and neither was I and neither was I. Uh, he didn't do his homework and neither did I. Miss John hasn't come to school and neither has Miss Ali. He wouldn't help us and neither would his brother. If we do part number one, it will become he hasn't any money and neither has I. My brother isn't very tall and neither am I. This is the solution of this exercise. He hasn't any money as we have done. One, two, three will become. The girls didn't have holiday yesterday and neither did the boys. She wasn't present at school yesterday and neither was her brother. Umar doesn't want to go to college and neither does Uzma. Why does is written here? Because doesn't is written here. We mustn't run inside the school and neither must you. She didn't like taking the nasty medicine and neither did her brother. She hasn't got fear here and neither has her sister. Umar doesn't want to go to college and neither does Uzma. The girls want singing and neither were the boys. This is exercise 4. In this exercise we are said to join the sentences using and so or and neither. When do we use and so and when and neither? Maruf got good marks, Zeb got good marks too. Maruf got good marks and so did Zeb. And so, and so is used here. And so will be used here if the given sentences are positive statements. Can you see here? Both are positive statements. But in example 2 you can see. Zia didn't go to school. Jack didn't go to school. Both are negative sentences. Then you will use and neither in your answer. Zia didn't go to school and neither did Jack. This is the difference between two examples. In first example, when there are both positive sentences, we shall use and so. But in second example, when both sentences are negative, we shall use and neither. Naz's medicine was nasty. Zuhra's was nasty too. How shall we write the answer? Naz's medicine was nasty. Naz's medicine was nasty and so was Zuhra's. Part number two is Pat wasn't born in Peshawar, Mansoor wasn't born in Peshawar. What will be the answer? Pat wasn't born in Peshawar and neither was Mansoor. Yes, students, we have done A, B, C part is here. Mr. Ali went to college, Mr. Shah went to college too. Mr. Ali went to college and so did Mr. Shah. Part D is 6 isn't an odd number, 8 isn't an odd number either, 6 isn't an odd number and neither is 8. English girls sometimes have fair hair, German girls sometimes have fair hair too. 
English girls sometimes have fair hair and so have German girls. Cars are not allowed to park here. Buses are not allowed to park here either. Cars are not allowed to park here and neither the buses. Mary sings very nicely. Helen sings very nicely too. Mary sings very nicely and so does Helen. My dog wouldn't stop barking. His dog wouldn't stop barking either. My dog wouldn't stop barking and neither would his dog. The head girl made a little speech and the head boy made a little speech too. The head girl made a little speech and so did a head boy. Uzma and Umar weren't present at school yesterday. Zia and Zeb weren't present at school yesterday. Answer will become Uzma and Umar weren't present at school yesterday and neither were Zia and Zeb. This is part number 5. In this part we are said to join the sentences in the right order. The method is first of all Read all the sentences, then try to find out the sequence. Uzma wasn't at school yesterday. I think she has a bad cold. Bad cold, said Zeb. Where is Uzma? The teacher asked. I am sorry to hear that, said the teacher. Neither was her brother. Now try to find out what will be the first sentence. A will be the first sentence. Uzma was at school yesterday. Which one will be number two? E will be number two. Neither was his brother. C will be part number three. Where is Uzma? The teacher asked. B will be number four. I think she has a bad cold, said Zeb. And D will be number five. I am sorry to hear that, said the teacher. Dear students, this was exercise 5 and now we have come to our workbook. In our workbook, we are set to finish the sentences using so or neither. Uzma is smiling and so is Umar. Umar has not closed the window and neither has Uzma. Umar does not want to listen to the radio and neither does Uzma. Let us move to part number 4. Uzma is sad and so is Umar. Part number 5. Umar has closed the window and so has Uzma. Uzma is not writing on the board and neither is Umar. Umar rode in a bus and so did Uzma. Why did is used here? Because second form of the verb is used here. Girls like swimming and so do the boys. Part number 9. The glasses are not broken and neither are the cups. Umar has not gone home yet and neither has Uzma. This is the next part of the workbook. Here we are said to choose the best answer. The given options are that, it, he, him, this. That was kind of him to help us. It was kind of him to help us. He was kind of him to help us. Him was kind. This was kind. What will be the correct option? It was kind of him to help us. Part number two. Is this book mine? Or is it one of your, you, yours? The correct option is yours. Part number three. The toy board was made by ten, made into ten, made of ten, of ten. <clears throat> Dear students, OF, OF is used uh, 
this will be the correct option part number four all the balloons were one will be here but this is passive ice sentence all the balloons balloons are not working here the subject is all the balloons and this is passive ice sentence in passive ice sentence we use third form of the verb and the third form of blow is blown b l o w n this will be the correct option part number 5 he stood outside the door since while for in during 10 minutes for 10 minutes they sat on a tree which had been sa sad siu son siun down by some workmen had been son Part number seven is I didn't see it neither. What will be the correct option? Neither did I. I didn't see it, neither did I. This is uh, the best one, but I think there is some problem with this sentence. Here should be another name. For example, Ali didn't see it, neither did I. Here should be another name. It looks that the sentence is not uh, correct. Anyway, we have written here, did I, that is okay. Dear students, in your homework, you will do uh, grammar exercise 36 that was done today then you will read the passage of chapter 19 two times to get better understanding of the text given in this lesson then you will do exercises of chapter 19 and the students work work also all the exercises which we have done you will do them in your notebook to memorize them to make them part of your memory that is all from our today's lesson. See you later. Goodbye.